All right, so here's a, a quick view on the test rig that I'm using. Uh, first off, I've got a scale. This is a 0.5 resolution accuracy, uh, up to 250 pounds. On the compression rig, you see I'm just using a vise. Uh, I've made some modifications here, put a flat steel plate uh, in on the tool. Just make sure that we don't have any twist or bend to the spring as it's compressing. And then a matching plate here on the, on the scale. The other thing that we've done, uh, that I've done here, is made a few precision shims. So getting it to the exact compression, 1.25, 1.75, what I've done to make this a little easier is just make some pre-cut shims. So if I measure this one out here, <clears throat> see if I can do it one-handed. There, I've got a reading of uh, 1.743, so I'm with 0.01% accuracy on that. If I get a little bit better grab, a little bit more accurate reading. There's 1.748, so I'm again comfortable with that from a tolerance standpoint. If I take this shim and go between my two flat surfaces here, you see I've got it nice and snug, yet not compressed against that. I can go around the surface of the spring. This is a Melosi red that we have here in the, in the rig. So on all sides, I can see I've got a, a very nice uh, right at 1.75. And then if I come back to my force reading with scales upside down, uh, as you can see by the decimal point, but there's 66 pounds on the money. So there's a quick run through of the test rig and how I'm capturing the results.